what they're looking for because it was gone on the premises of what they're searching for since it was taking place on the property of the thing they're searching for images of females who could seem to be younger uncle jen has returned and this time he's letting diddy have it all again every time jane deal talks it's as like he's dropping another massive bombshell on the shady antics and believe me his most recent revelations are off the charts there's a lot more to Diddy's adoption of Ava Berencom's story than he claims, according to Jean, who recently discovered the shocking truth about it. In 2020, when Diddy made headlines for adopting Ava, it seemed like a huge deal, but then suddenly, Ava disappeared from the spotlight as quickly as she appeared. It's time to investigate this situation and get the truth since Diddy is accused of doing some pretty shady things to Ava which makes us wonder whether the Homeland Security raid was related to her. The real question is how Hollywood has managed to overlook Diddy Shady conduct for so long. It's reasonable to say that things have reached a whole new level of confusion and discomfort. Buckle up because this guy truly didn't know what he was doing when he put out garbage like that. He's taunting the federal government you may have been living under a rock if you haven't heard the terrible news about Diddy. CNN recently revealed Diddy's repulsive actions captured on camera, which validates all of Cassie's claims in her lawsuit. He also related a story about Wendy Williams, who was fired from Hot 97 due to a picture of herself that she had posted, though that is only a cursory overview. Jin transaction before Cassie ever filed her complaint, Diddy's ex-bodyguard from the 1990s, ex set out to divulge all of his knowledge. However, despite all of these revelations, it is still unclear what became to Diddy's adoptive white daughter, Ava Baron Combs. It's likely that many people are unaware that he adopted her a few years ago and that she just left after making an abrupt statement. At the time, no one seemed to be paying any attention. Ava's adoption was unexpected since he made the announcement out of the blue. For a little while, everyone was talking about it. However, as soon as she stopped making headlines, people forgot about her, and now that Diddy is at the center of all the turmoil, her abrupt disappearance is posing new questions about where she went and what happened to her. Back then, we didn't know as much about Diddy as we do now. Sure, there were rumors and whispers about him being secretive, and some people took offense, but that's his business. Nothing illegal has been discovered as of yet, and let's not forget that those relationships he had with younger guys seemed consensual, so it was like none of our business. However, now that we have so much more information at our disposal, it's enough to give you shivers. Each lawsuit that has surfaced has revealed another facet of this man. Cass's lawsuit, for instance, painted a picture of Diddy as someone who wasn't just emotionally oppressive, but physically too in every way imaginable. Then there's Lil Rod stepping up claiming Diddy not only mistreated him, but also tried to push him into some grim stuff with other industry dudes like Cuba Goodingjer. But man, when Homeland Security swooped in raiding his pads in L.A. and Miami over human teaking suspicions, that's when things went from bad to worse see up until then. The lawsuits were civil, no criminal charges. But with the feds diving in like that, it's a whole different ballgame. They don't roll out with a big raid unless they got some serious dirt on someone Diddy's lawyers came out swinging accusing the feds of just piling on Diddy and trying to tarnish his public image. They called the raid an unprecedented ambush paired with a media blitz leading to what they say is a premature rush to judgment. According to them, it's nothing more than a witch hunt based on unfounded accusations made in civil lawsuits. They insist that there has been no findings of criminal or civil liability and that Mr. Combs is innocent and will continue fighting to clear his name. However, a federal officer responded stating, we believe that there is a disturbing history of human teeing. We are responding to concrete, detailed, explicit allegations. This is not a random choice. We didn't pick his name at random. 
We are investigating some allegations, and if the federal government steps in to investigate them, you can bet that the drama will continue. Get ready for more bombshells. There will undoubtedly be some shocking revelations soon. And perhaps, just maybe, we'll learn the truth about what actually happened with Diddy's adopted daughter, Ava Baron Combs. Let's travel back to 2020 to learn all there is to know. Diddy is casually going live on Instagram as if it's no big deal. And suddenly, all of a sudden, with everyone's eyes fixed on their screens, he makes the shocking news that he has adopted a white girl called Ava. He even puts Ava on camera, allowing her the chance to identify herself and confirm her spot in the Diddy team. My name is Ava. As a Scorpio, no, no, what is your last name? If you don't have an AA, what is your other last name? Ava then shared a story a bit rehearsed and cute about how Diddy saw her and decided to take her in emphasizing she still had her parents' permission and support on the streets. And then Papa decided that he would like to be a caring man, so then he saw me and decided to pick me up and said to come inside and play with his kids at the time. Many thought it was a great gesture, especially during the pandemic, when children needed all the love and support they could get. But now, given all the recent revelations, people can't stop giving him the side eye for so many reasons now. Let's dissect that bizarre video featuring Diddy's adopted daughter. Ava people were unavoidably taken aback by the whole situation. Introduction of Ava. My name is Ava. Though her discomfort was evident, making viewers wriggle in their chairs, I'm a Scorpio seemed more like the beginning of a dating profile than a touching family moment. But wait, there's more to this story. There are some major concerns raised by Diddy's comparison of his adoption procedure to Madonna's. Diddy's reference to Madonna may allude to dubious activities surrounding Ava's adoption. Additionally, the confusing absence of Diddy's girls from the video raises doubts about Madonna's dubious adoption processes, which have been the subject of investigations for years, including accusations of human trafficking and child abuse. After the video, Ava seemed to withdraw from the limelight, even though she had indicated a wish to spend out with Diddy's daughters. Why were only his boys featured? Fans of Into Thin Air are wondering if Ava's discomfort in the video was caused by an uneasy atmosphere in the room, especially given the intense atmosphere surrounding Diddy and his sons, who are involved in their own legal disputes. However, the real story that raised the most eyebrows was the shocking claim made by Diddy's former bodyguard, Jandil, who claims that Diddy adopted Ava only as a publicity stunt using her for influence and discarding her when he was done. Chang didn't stop there. He danced around the subject, strongly hinting that something fishy is going on between Diddy and Ava. He didn't spill all the details, but he made it clear that insiders in the industry are well aware of what's really going on. Rumors are circulating, and it's getting wild. Diddy picked up a homeless girl during the pandemic and paraded her around like his own, but he failed to give her the love and care she deserved. Even more bizarre is the fact that these rumors have been around for a while, 